Hi, I'm Holly Robinson P, and I am in the new movie, Holiday Heritage, and you're watching That's So Random. Your new movie, Holiday Heritage, is out now. It's Hallmark Channel's first celebration of Kwanzaa. Why did you feel this was a story you wanted to be part of bringing to the screen? I wanted to be part of Holiday Heritage because I actually grew up celebrating Kwanzaa and my kids were raised celebrating Kwanzaa. I love this holiday. A lot of people don't know what it is, but it's really just a celebration of seven principles the day after Christmas up through New Year's and it celebrates community and ancestry. Is it hard getting into the holiday spirit when you're shooting a movie like this outside of the holiday season? <laughs> you feel like you've already celebrated Christmas so during the shoot and then I go home and they're like mom put up the tree and I'm like didn't I just do this? You're also an author, TV host and singer. If you weren't acting which of these careers could you see yourself in for the rest of your life? Well, I really wanted to be a singer back in the day, but I think I probably would have been what I went to school for, which was French. I would be a stewardess on Air France or something, I don't know. I would be like, would you like some coffee? But je parle français, c'est vrai que je parle français couramment. You and your husband, Rodney P, have one of the longest running marriages in Hollywood. What's your secret? He just agrees with everything I say and then we can get along just fine. No, it's really, it's so corny. We hear it all the time, this communication. This marks the 25th anniversary of the Holly Rudd Foundation. How has the conversation changed around autism and Parkinson's over the years? The conversation has changed a lot. When it comes to Parkinson's, which my dad had, there are so many really amazing medical breakthroughs and things that we've learned. My brother also has Parkinson's now, so I'm learning through him, you know, that exercise is key. You have to exercise, you have to keep moving. And they have a lot of really amazing experimental breakthrough surgeries that they have um, to help people with Parkinson's live and to alleviate their symptoms. As far as autism is concerned, unfortunately, the prevalence has jumped. It's one in 44 children children has um, an autism spectrum disorder. Still think there needs to be a lot more awareness and acceptance of autism. What song can you not help but sing out loud when it comes on? Can you sing a bit? Don't blame it on the boogie by the Jackson Five, or the, actually the Jacksons. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the boogie. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't control my feet. I'm telling you, I can, you cannot play Blame It On The Boogie without me moving, dancing, or singing. Your dad was the first Gordon on Sesame Street. Can you sing a few bars of your favorite Sesame Street song? Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? 